This year marks the 100th anniversary of the Cape Cod League. It is a one-of-a-kind setting where some of the best collegiate players from across the country play for local Cape Towns. They live with local families while big league scouts, they watch from the stands. Here's Massachusetts native and Cape Cod resident Peter Gammons, of course, on what makes this league so special to him and to countless others over the last century. Cape Cod League games have the feel of being staged in a Norman Rockwell set on a summer's early evening light. They are gatherings of locals from small towns, from the Bourne Bridge to Orleans, who bring their lawn chairs and coolers, some who house the players from colleges across the country, as well as summer vacationers for whom this is baseball without admission fees or mega board kiss cams. This is the 100th summer of the league as it's presently constituted. But four years before the league was established in 1923, future Hall of Famer Pi Trainer played for Falmouth on the Cape, was signed by the Pittsburgh Pirates at the end of the summer, and in 1948 was inducted into Cooperstown. Today, the league features collegians from across the country, Five of the last six players selected first overall in the MLB draft have been college players, and all five played in the Cape League. In the 2023 draft, 219 former and present Cape players were drafted, 35.5% of those selected. And in the last full major league season, 373 players were once active on a Cape League roster. Players often become part of a town's identity. As the league grew and surpassed Alaska as the premier college summer league in the 80s, players usually held jobs to make money. Sid Bream worked on a fishing boat. Albert Bell filled up cars at a gas station. Mark Kotze bagged groceries at a born supermarket, as I can personally attest. Darren Erstad earned Employee of the Month honors at a department store. Buck Showalter was a short order cook in the morning and painted fences around the Kennedy compound in the afternoon. One reason the Cape League took off ahead of other summer leagues in the 80s was that it was one of the first leagues to turn to wooden bats. It is, as Brandon Crawford was pointed out after hitting less than 200 for Orleans, a learning experience. Crawford was not alone. Todd Helton, Pete Alonzo, and Adley Rushman currently have a combined major league home run total of over 570. Those three superstars together lasted exactly zero regular season homers in their time on the Cape. Meanwhile, some players blossomed. Buster Posey, Billy Wagner, Aaron Boone, and Ron Darling's incredible seasons and heroic moments are still talked about among New England locals. But more important than the balls hit, the pitches thrown, and the games won are the relationships that are forged during the summers. Mitch Moreland was a pitcher first baseman for Bourne in 2006. 12 years later, he was with the Red Sox and regularly drove the 65 miles to Bourne to take his host family fishing. When Zach Gallon was drafted by the Cardinals, he asked for an extra day to report because he wanted to rent a car, drive from his home in New Jersey to Chatham, and take his host family to dinner. Before Game 7 of the 2002 World Series, Darren Erstad stopped me and asked one favor. When I spoke at that winner's Cape League Hall of Fame inductions, please tell the crowd that he, Erstad, wanted to be remembered to Arnie Allen, a longtime worker at the Falmouth Park who had terminal cancer. As this utterly unique league celebrates its 100th birthday, perhaps the best way to commemorate it is to think of lawn chairs and future baseball stars all unfolding under the backdrop of a Cape Cod summer evening. Ah, thank you, Peter. d -Row, you had a similar story. You ended up inviting your host family 
the lady that owned the house there that you when you played in the Cape, you invited her to Fenway. Yeah, when I got called oh, up and we nice. went to Fenway, I made sure she was there. Ah, oh, that's great. That's a really nice story. 100 years of the Cape Cod League. So many big leaguers have played in this event. The postseason begins today. If you're in and around the area, you're looking for something to do, hopefully you can check out some of the, uh, the great action from the Cape Cod League playoffs.